In this video we share Our Lady's message to Luz de Maria for October 14, 2024. Please like, comment and subscribe to assist my channel. Thank you. Here is the message of Our Lady to Luz de Maria for October 14, 2024. My beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, receive my motherly blessing. You are my beloved children, children of my Immaculate Heart. You are called to pray in this alarming time for mankind. The prayer of the Holy Rosary is protection, help, shelter, and freedom for my children. The devil fears the prayer of the Holy Rosary and flees in horror, if my children are in a proper spiritual state. Children, remember that you must remain in a state of grace, advancing in your personal conversion. Beloved of my Immaculate Heart, Every moment is an opportunity for you to fight evil and be victorious. My Divine Son is merciful, it is you, children, who abuse divine mercy. Children, the instruments making known the divine will at this time are persecuted for having shared, in advance, the events you are living through and those you will face. Mankind hangs by a thread, children of my Divine Son. The Earth has been threatened by asteroids, meteorites or comets, and other objects from space, and man has located them. There is an asteroid that, without man's expectation, will appear on a trajectory towards the Earth. It is the heavenly body of the warning. Beloved children, the war continues. Confrontations follow one after the other, and the innocent suffer. The time has come for pain, for lamentation, for atrocity from the use of science misused against man, himself, the unruliness of war will lead to mass famine. The disease will appear on the skin and worsen by invading the organs of the human body, with external bleeding. I call you to have the Good Samaritan oil and calendula. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, pain worsens throughout mankind. I call you to prepare yourselves spiritually, and also to save food, what each one can. If you do not manage to save any food, Angels from heaven will bring you manna to satisfy your hunger. Beloved children, the most beloved angel of peace looks at you through your works and actions. He suffers when seeing my divine son in great pain over this ungrateful generation. He suffers when he feels my pain over my children who do not obey. Our most beloved angel of peace has a family, which is persecuted by the devil. Our most beloved Angel of Peace maintains a close relationship with my presentation as Our Lady of Guadalupe. Beloved, you cannot fathom our beloved Angel of Peace, who will come to accompany you in the most difficult times. Beloved children, you must merit eternal life. Each one of you has your God-given assignment, and you must fulfill it, beloved children of my Divine Son. I exhort you to fulfill the Divine Will and to be obedient in the fulfillment of the Law of God. As a mother, I guide you, when you allow me. I lead you to my Divine Son. I bless you, I love you. Mother Mary. The following commentary comes from Luz de Maria de Bonilla. Brothers and sisters. We are facing the strongest events, as children of God. Our Blessed Mother has allowed me to see the consequences of the war, not only those that are happening in various parts of the earth, but those battles within each one of us, as we strive to fulfill the divine will over our free will, which wants to lead us down a different path. Brothers and sisters, I have seen New York City destroyed. I can say that it was unrecognizable, truly a Dantesque scene. At the same time, I have seen Japan almost underwater and the constant earthquakes throughout the Ring of Fire, without respite, coming to humanity. Brothers and sisters, I watched the United States being cautious not to be dragged into the war, which will end in the use of nuclear energy, weapons. I saw how, in the Middle East, places where there is oil were burning, and along with this, there was death, and how the famine for human beings was satiated by the angels of God. That is why we must keep our faith, because we are not alone. Brothers and sisters, as our Blessed Mother tells us today, let us free ourselves from all evil, and let us pray to wait for the Angel of Peace, whom the Holy Trinity is sending to help mankind in the worst moments of the battle. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to pray at this time, knowing that prayer is the food that strengthens the spirit and keeps us firm in faith. Amen. 
Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.